In the heart of the vast savanna, where the golden grasses swayed under the warm sun, lived a lion named Zuberi. Zuberi was known far and wide for his insatiable hunger and greed. He would hunt tirelessly, often taking more than he needed, leaving the other animals in constant fear and scarcity. One scorching afternoon, as Zuberi lounged under the shade of a baobab tree, his stomach rumbled loudly. Despite having already eaten that morning, he felt the familiar pang of hunger. His eyes scanned the savannah, looking for his next meal. That's when he spotted a group of hares grazing not too far away. Among the hares was a particularly clever one named Yahi. Yahi had long been aware of Zuberi's greed and had managed to avoid him through quick thinking and agility. But today, as he saw the lion's hungry gaze fixed on him and his friends, he knew he had to devise a plan to save them all. Zuberi roared, causing the hares to scatter in fear. But Yohi stood his ground, his mind racing with a cunning idea. He approached the lion with a calm demeanor, which intrigued Zuberi. Why don't you run away like the others? Zuberi growled, baring his teeth. Yahi bowed respectfully, great Zuberi, I have a proposal that might interest you, he said. I know of a place where you can find a feast much grander than a few small hares, follow me, and I shall lead you to it. Curiosity piqued, Zuberi agreed, though he kept a close eye on the hare. Yahi led the lion through the savannah, past the familiar hunting grounds, and towards a rocky outcrop. As they climbed higher, Zuberi grew impatient. Are you sure this isn't a trick? He snarled. Patience, mighty Zuberi, Yahi replied, we are almost there. Finally, they reached a deep, narrow gorge. At the bottom, a clear pool of water shimmered in the sunlight. Yahi stopped at the edge and pointed down. Look into the water, great lion, and you will see a lion much bigger and stronger than yourself. Yahi said. He has been eating all the game in this area, and if you defeat him, all the prey will be yours. Zuberi, blinded by his greed and arrogance, peered into the pool. Sure enough, he saw the reflection of a massive lion staring back at him. With a deafening roar, he leapt into the water to attack his own reflection, believing it to be his rival. The splash echoed through the gorge, and Zuberi found himself thrashing in the water, unable to find his footing on the slippery rocks. Realizing he had been tricked, he struggled to climb out, but the sides were too steep and slick. Yahi watched from above, his eyes full of wisdom and relief. Your greed has trapped you, Zuberi, he called down. Learn from this and understand that taking more than you need brings trouble. The other animals, having seen the commotion from a distance, approached cautiously. They marveled at Yohi's cleverness and celebrated their newfound safety. From that day on, the savannah flourished, free from the greedy lion's tyranny. As for Zuberi, he eventually managed to climb out of the gorge, but he was a changed lion. His time in the pool had taught him humility and the consequences of his greed. He never hunted excessively again, and the animals of the savannah lived in harmony, thanks to the clever hare's quick thinking and bravery.